is the motor plate fitted back inside. This pivots on the steel pin mounting point there so that you can adjust the tension of the belts. So the weight of the motor is what does it and then you lock it off with a couple of bolts which go through these holes to set your plate in the same position. So let's get the motor we back onto this plate. Here's the motor mounted on this pivot plate here, as you can see. The white pivots there and this allows you to get your tension on your belt. So it's a big old heavy motor and once you've got it where you want it, you have some bolts that come through these thread holes from the front, one here, one on the other side, and then that allows you to set your position and lock it in place with the bolts. So there she is, there's the motor mounted up and we'll go ahead and start getting the rest of the spindle and that put back in. See you soon. Here's a Milford whetstone grinder. Now that skip a bit of the video because I had to in a rush to get it put back together. So I didn't do it step by step on the video. It's nothing too exciting anyway. I just thought I'd show you it. This was never gonna be a clean up and completely rebuild strip and paint project. This was just gonna be a cheap, good, powerful grinder that I could use to sharpen my high speed steel tool bits for the lathe for the milling machine and it's all wired back in we've got the original motor in there new belts three phase 415 volt rewired to three phase 220 volt and we're running it off the Hunyang VFD this is literally running as a slave because I've got the main power in and out and then I'm running even though this is a thick white cable it's only running two wires which is the common and the forward low voltage which just operates the original switch just to keep it looking nice and I can tuck the VFD out of the way stones could do with the tidy up and the new bit of perspex in here I can do that at a later date so yeah, excuse the wiring because it will be mounted on the wall once I'm in the workshop, so I'll show you that when it's done. But here we are.
Cheers for watching. Thought I'd show you this one as well while I'm here. This is the Viceroy double spindle polisher. Now this links in to the video that I've done of repairing the single face motor with a broken casting. So there's the single face motor in there. We had to cut this out so I'll make a new panel to cover this, although it doesn't really matter. And we put a new DOL starter on this one because the switches that were on there were no good. I couldn't run them even off the um, power if I tried because they were knackered so no good. So it's safer to put one of these on. And this one is the same. It's a three, three horsepower, sorry, not three phase, three horsepower, single phase motor. Just run off 13 amp plug. Ignore these because these are being rewired. This is just to show you for the video quickly while they're in my storage unit. Powerful double spindle polisher that was 70 pounds, and then using the single phase three horsepower motor that got damaged, and they said to throw away, we welded up and repaired. So, really, this thing owes me about 100 quid because I've still got over here the other brand new single phase motor that they sent as a replacement. So, I've got two good bits of kit here. And the pair of them owe me less than 300 quid. Happy days. See you soon.